CNN on your side investigates a virtual college that's virtually destroyed the dreams of some hopeful football players. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. Their football dreams were dashed. Some young student athletes claim that broken promises cost them thousands of dollars and brought them thousands of miles from home to a new college in Polk County. Yeah, we found out St. Sebastian was approved by the Department of Education, but as a religious institution, it is also exempt from enforcement, leaving these disgruntled players on the sideline. Nate on your side investigator Walt Butoy uh, Buto joins us now with the latest. Hey Walt. Their, girl, their goal that is was earning college credit while also improving their skills for a shot at a bigger football stage but they claim promises did not match reality at St. Sebastian where there were not even enough football helmets. I got it. Long before the Fighting Foxes played what several tell us was their first and only game. These now former St. Sebastian elite college football recruits say there were red flags about this $6,000 a semester college without a campus. We only have 17 players. We were sharing helmets. We didn't have a trainer. Cartier Gordon is one of several players who claim they journeyed to the Polk County College for Michigan based on promises from football coach DeMarcus Lattier. He promised us he would help us get to different colleges. He would um, basically get us some exposure. He would help us get better. But within days of that first kickoff, they say the football team folded and their dreams were over. I'm like, uh, coach, is this it? Then, according to Daniel Abdul, access to coursework was frozen for some students to you. who received emails from professors claiming, quote, no one has received a paycheck. Abdul said around that time he was pressured to make a tuition payment. I gave him cash, $1,000, all hundreds. And I gave it to him. I met him here. And Who'd you give it to? Coach himself. You take cash from the student? We take offerings to pay. Everybody take. I mean, you take, uh, you have... We, we don't have financial aid, obviously, because you have to be accredited. Another issue involved the college's listed location here on Marigold Avenue. It's the same address as the Point Siena Community Center, but we checked, and the operations manager told us St. Sebastian should not be using that address. The community center said they didn't know you were using their address and that you didn't have the permission. So no. is it a college without an address? No, not necessarily. I wouldn't say that. Even without a campus, this letter from the Florida Department of Education verifies St. Sebastian meets state requirements as a religious institution. Gordon has filed a complaint with the Commission on Independent Education, but in an email, a spokesperson said the commission lacks jurisdiction over the college. Do you feel you were completely honest with the players? 100%. We have players that were unhappy, and that's with anything, and I wish those young men the best. A college administrator I talked to would not tell me how many students are currently enrolled at St. Sebastian. She said the college is working on payment disputes with those instructors. And again, I was just telling you, a lot of these kids' parents said, it seems a little fishy, don't do it, don't do it. But, you know, they had that dream, they chased the dream. Yeah, what a scenario. So yeah. if the Department of Education doesn't have jurisdiction over this type of religious college, if a student has a problem, where do they take it? It's a great question. We asked that question. A DOE spokesman told me the student would have to seek private enforcement as in a civil complaint or a lawsuit against the college. So no real jurisdiction, which could be a problem. And again, the student has to take it on its own, get a lawyer and go to court. Which is a lot when you're a college student. Absolutely. Because you're just trying to get through the steps of being a yeah. college student. I mean, yeah. that story is almost unbelievable. Yeah. It All is right. almost unbelievable. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Walt. Thanks, okay. Walt. And if you have something you would like Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 800-338-0808.